Okay, so the first thing I do when I'm talking about the weather usually is to show a surface map because it's something most people have seen. If you watch the news and the weather report, you've probably seen it, even though if you don't fully understand what you're looking at. But first today, I wanna show you what you are looking at because it really tells you a lot of great information. So the first thing that we'll do is look at the letters that you see on these maps. The big blue H, that's high pressure. What is pressure? It's measured by a barometer. Remember, that's kind of the weight of the air, if you will, that's above you. So when you have high pressure, it means that the air in the atmosphere is sinking. That makes it hard for clouds to form, makes it even harder to have any precipitation. So with few clouds and little precipitation, high pressure generally brings nice weather. The red L, by contrast, that would be low pressure. When you have low pressure, you have air that's rising in the atmosphere. Remember, air rising can form clouds, and what comes out of clouds? Precipitation, rain, snow. You can get hurricanes with these red L's if it's really intense. Tornadoes, you get the idea. You get stormy weather with a low pressure. To keep this really simple, you can just remember it by high pressure brings happy weather, low pressure brings lousy weather. All right, what about those colored lines on the surface maps that you see? These are fronts, of course. The fronts tell you a lot about temperature. A cold front, that's the blue line, and that brings colder air, cold front. Cold fronts, though, are also known for being really strong and kind of intense. This is when you can get some really intense thunderstorms, for example. So think about a really hot, humid summer day here in New England. You know how you get that muggy feel, and then all of a sudden an afternoon storm comes in, and it's like a whole new world on the other side. It's comfortable. That's a cold front. A warm front, as you may suspect, brings warmer air into the area. But here's the thing. Warm fronts are kind of lazy. They're not nearly as intense and powerful. So yeah, you can get some clouds, some rain, but you're not going to get the same type intense storms that you'll get with a cold front in most cases. If you have a front that has both colors, blue and red, it means it's stationary. Stationary means it's not moving and your weather's not gonna change all that much. What about this pink and purple front? That's an occluded front and that essentially brings a combination of the two. So remember I said the warm front is kinda lazy, it's slower. Occasionally those warm fronts will get gobbled up by the more intense cold fronts. When that happens, you turn it into an occluded front basically, and you get these occluded fronts from really strong areas of low pressure. So if you have a red L in one of these occluded fronts, you know the area of low pressure is at its strongest point or very close to it. All right, so that tells you how to understand a surface map. That's just the tip of the iceberg though. How does all this weather actually move around the world? Coming up in the next lesson, we're gonna talk about the jet stream and how you've actually been in the jet stream in all likelihood.